Good morning to you all. My name is Shahar and I am associated with the Oblid Retreat and Spirituality Centre in Tower Hill, London. There I lead once a week a workshop called Expressing Myself Through Art, where we combine prayer and art in a light-hearted way through various forms of creativity and reflection. For today's reflection, I chose a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, 1, 12 to 14. Then the apostles returned to Jerusalem, from the hill called the Mount of Olives, a Sabbath day's walk from the city. When they arrived, they went upstairs to the room where they were staying. They all joined together, constantly in prayer, along with the woman and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. Mary's presence among those dedicated to prayer in the upper room was my motive for choosing such reading. During this current time of uncertainties and obscurity, we become disconnected from the outside world. Our hearts become heavy and perhaps our spirits demotivated. Art is like prayer, an expression of longing and one way of listening to God. Art can also be means to overcome those dark moments in life. Obviously, we don't have to be master artists to do this. In fact, what we need is the trust and courage to express ourselves in a fun and non-judgmental way. My genre of painting usually varies, but I must admit that this is my first attempt in painting a portrait, and not any as such. At the start, it felt daunting to capture the Mother of Christ in simple terms. But somehow there was a call to trust a spirit within and forge my way ahead. It also seemed as if the encouraging and empowering presence of Mary amid the Apostles has touched me deeply. Surely she is represented in icons and the like, but my vision was different. I wanted to show her as she stood in the upper room, simple, silent, steadfast, and at the heart of the Paschal mystery. By contemplating the memory of Mary, we become courageous, prayerful, and faithful as we continue our Lenten journey. Mary's presence gave inspiration and hope to the Apostles, and so does she to us during our darkest moments. In this painting, I also wanted to shed some light on Mary as a sign of comfort and support to those in need of her help. As you can see, her longing face is aware of sorrow, and yet we take away that sense of serenity, tenderness and sensitivity. This is a scene captured in darkness. As you know, back then there was no electricity, so I envisaged her holding a candle thus keeping the light aflame in the room and in the spirits of those surrounding her. I hope this image will enkindle that light in your heart and encourage you to use art as a way of contemplation and prayer, regardless of the theme or simply how good you can draw or paint. The point is to be free and let go. Thanks for watching and now I would like to share with you Hail Mary in Syriac, the language of Christ, still spoken in some part of Syria and other parts of the Middle East. Bye, boy.